Starting today with Witch Witch because we got a full day of filming ahead of us. Well, not a full day, really just like an hour. It's going to be exciting. Today is the day we become Ocarina of Time. By the way, hello and welcome to Saturday. If you missed yesterday's video, today we are going to shoot a promotional for the upcoming Ocarina of Time Let's Play that Mal and I are doing. Uh, Dan is with us. Dan's going to be shooting it. Uh, we've got... A horse. We have got a... Oh, there's so many things. Um, we, we actually just ran to Hobby Lobby to get... The rest the of your outfit. Yeah, because I didn't have the shirts. So we got that. Um, I looked this morning and I just realized that Link wears like gauntlets or gloves, and I don't have those, but whatever, it's fine. Um, otherwise, I have pretty much every other aspect of the, the outfit. We're going to be shooting it with the GH4, which we normally use for mail makes and mail and Q&A, so it should look really nice. It's just going to be really silly. We don't really have um, a plan. We just are going to shoot... Those are the shoot, best videos. We're just going to shoot stuff that can be used in like a montage thing and then uh, Dan's gonna cut it together. But we've got a bunch of different like props and things and we're going up to Vereen's Gardens, which is where we shot the Skyrim finale. And I think we've shot some other stuff there too. Um, it's a nice outdoorsy, woodsy place that f kind of fits, you know, Elf Boy Link's home setting, Kokiri. So we can go up there and shoot some stuff and I don't know what's gonna happen, but hopefully it'll be good. Uh, Mal's going to have the vlog camera, so she'll be shooting behind the scenes today. Perfect. 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 I haven't done a roll in 15 years. Okay, well, uh, we're rolling, so go whenever you want. Did that resemble a roll? <laughs> that was good. There's a park bench there. Huh? You almost fell on the park bench. Oh. oh, this is probably my favorite project that I've ever done so far. <laughs> Action. How was that? That was great. <laughs> and then whenever it cuts back, it's yeah. the horses deflated. Okay. That okay. sounds good. Then I'll, I'll just give it all in one shot. Yeah. Um, that's and then I'll get a shot of your face. Yep. Then you won't have to move for that. Alright, you ready? Uh, yes, recording. Okay. This is giving me ample time to ponder my life's decisions. <laughs> Hurry up, Dan. <laughs> Okay, 
So it probably goes without saying because you could tell from the footage, or maybe at this point you've seen the actual video, um, it went well. It, it went really well. We had a ton of fun, a ton of fun shooting that. And it was also really interesting for me because it was kind of a callback uh, in some situation for me because back in high school, well over a decade ago, um, I actually shot some of these live action uh, public stunt videos um, to an extent. I did an entire series of these videos about Earthbound and they're actually on Steven Plays. You can look through the playlist and there's a playlist called live action Earthbound public stunts or something like that. And uh, I just did a series of videos that were basically Mega 64 clones but they were all about Earthbound. Um, I don't know if I've ever talked about it but when Mega 64 was first getting started, I mean like they had released two or three videos. They had done like the Tetris video and maybe one or two others. I saw that and I was like, oh my god, that's brilliant. I love that. I want to do that with Earthbound. And we started doing these, these Earthbound videos. So I was doing that back in high school and doing that today, it, it made me feel that same feeling, you know. It was just a lot of fun. It was really fun to go shoot it with Dan. Um, and Dan appreciated it because he doesn't get a chance to to shoot that sort of stuff. Um, he's actually been helping Jarrett with uh, some of the wedding photography and videography stuff for Jarrett's business. And obviously, shooting a wedding is a lot different than shooting a 27-year-old man running through the woods dressed as a video game character. It's just a very different feel. And uh, I think it was a lot of fun for him. And I'm actually letting him cut that as well. I said, you know, you, sh you shot it. I think you should cut it because you knew exactly what you were thinking whenever you were shooting a thing, so you probably have ideas from when you were shooting it. So uh, whenever we came back here, I gave him all the footage, and um, he's good to go. I think in total, we, there's actually not that much footage. We were there for about an hour, and we shot maybe about 12 to 13 minutes of footage. There's a lot of setup between you know trying to figure out exactly what we wanted to do since it was all improvised. We didn't really have a plan. We just had vague ideas. Um, Dan did prepare some stuff, like he had an ocarina that, that was just his ocarina that sits on the shelf. He actually brought the milk uh, himself, and this is, uh, that's just a label that he found online. Someone had apparently designed like the Lon Lon Ranch milk label, so he printed it out and stuck it on one of those small milk bottles and brought it over today, and I was like, oh man, that's really great. So there's a shot of that, but it was just fun. It was just really fun. I don't get to do that sort of stuff very often just for the fact that normally the amount of time necessary that has to go into those sorts of videos is generally just not worth the return. Um, a lot of people have asked me over the years, you know, why doesn't Nintendo come back? Well, it's because Nintendo takes a lot of time and the, you know, the payoff for, for doing a Nintendo does not sustain Nintendo, you know, that's one reason. Um, but doing these like live action videos, it's the same thing. They're they're special, and I enjoy doing them. But it's one of those things that kind of has to just be every once in a while. But this was a fun way to promote a let's play, and I can definitely see myself doing this again for something. Not like every let's play, for, but for some let's plays in the future because it was just fun. I posted a teaser to social media, and um, everyone's really excited about it. It was just a really good time. Anyway, um, after that, we came back. Uh, we grabbed some dinner briefly, and then. Uh, we uh, actually recorded some stuff tonight because it is Saturday. We actually recorded some Jackbox stuff, and it went well. We got far more episodes than I was planning to get out of it. Josh joined us, and it was fun. It was just a really good day, a really good productive day, um, which is good because tomorrow we really need to start recording Halo ODST. That's the goal for tomorrow. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. That video is out by now, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a link to the uh, video in the description. And let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?